How's it going guys and welcome to yet another video and I'm feeling a lot of ways today um, but in general quite excited and why am I so excited? Well because of two reasons. Number one, the weather looks like it's taking the change. The wind is not as bad as it was and it's all sunny look even the cars are out laying about in the sun so that's my first reason and the second reason is I ordered a package that was supposed to come in like a couple of months uh, or so and instead of coming in a couple of months it's coming today and it's a very very exciting package and I shall probably open it with you guys later on I'm really excited for it however as excited as I am I'm also feeling very stressed so yesterday I took my car to the garage and it's been wanting to go for ages they've eventually had the part come in um, but I have a feeling that either the part won't be the fixed uh, it'll just cost me a load of money or there'll be more problems created or just something's going to go wrong and it's going to cost me more money and especially with me being on quarantine lockdown I'm obviously not getting a wage that I'd normally get and even the wage that I normally get is still tight for paying for my stupid car so I'm really like I feel really sick and I've got like a real bad knot in my stomach and it had sort of gone away whilst I was making these videos because I'd parked my car up in the garage and wasn't thinking about it, I was fine. Uh, but these last like two days it's come back and I just feel constantly really sick. So until I know whether anything, everything's going to be okay or not, I think this, this feeling's there to stay. However, I am still very excited in a way uh, because the parcel that's coming should be really good. Like I say, I still do feel very like just sick, sick to my stomach, which is just not ideal. Anyway, whilst I'm out here, I may as well let Rag run around for a little while and then we'll see. I think the parcel's actually due to arrive within the next hour or so, whether it's on time or not, I don't know, but we could be opening that soon. So, like I was saying to you guys, until the next thing goes wrong on my car, the part that they've ordered, um, the bracket that holds the part that they've ordered doesn't fit, which means I've got to wait for a few more days for them to send, minimum a few more days for them to send the bracket back for them to get the right bracket to then see if this is the solution to the problem. Which means I get to live with this sick feeling for a few more days, which is just great. Um, I don't know. The issue with it is my car being problematic and you will see a massive correlation between my car having problems and my video output being low. And it's just because I get so wrapped up in my car because I have that many problems and stuff. It stresses me out that much that I just don't want to do anything. And like I just sort of, all I'll do is sit around and stress about the fact that my car's broke. And it's I'm trying so hard now not to stress that my car's broken just to focus on doing what I want to do but I'm really really struggling with it like really really struggling with it because it, I just I, and I can't explain to you why it is and stuff but it just it just engulfs me and just that's all my life becomes is stressing about my car so I don't know Anyway, I'll catch you guys up later on when I've figured out what's going on in life. Right, so guys, it's happened, it's arrived. I'm really excited. I'm going to take all the precautions. I've got some anti back because supposedly coronavirus can live on cardboard for 24 hours or something. But I'm going to open it and hopefully the box inside, what I bought, that should have been packaged a long time ago. So I should be alright with that. It's just this out of package I need to be careful with. Anyway, no more talking. I'm going to open it up. This is so exciting. This is something and you guys might have heard me talk about wanting to get one for a very long time and I've been debating it and debating it but because my car cost me so much money I uh, I kept putting it off and I was like I can't really justify buying it but the more I've been making my videos the more I can sort of justify it and I have bought a Nikon Coolpix A900. It's got a flip screen and everything. So this is a little compact camera. I'm so excited right now. I should have really ended on my hand then, but I'm just really buzzing about this. Oh my 
things. I've never actually held one or used one or anything. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. A lot heavier. But essentially, oh wow, that is way cooler than it looks in the photos. So I've had this new camera because I struggle to take the big DSLR. If we're going places, so to museums or we're just going to the shops or something, it's ridiculous taking the big DSLR in because it is huge, it takes up a lot of space, especially if we're just nipping somewhere small or whatever, like I say, like the shops. But this will be spot on. And like I say, I've never actually, I've just seen photos of them and I've seen like what they can produce. But the whole screen, this is just madness. So yeah, this means there should be more vlogs. This is more like for times when I'm like, I can't really take all the camera and stuff. I can take this pretty much anywhere. Shoots 4K, the footage looks awesome. Uh, for a compact camera, it was a good price, and I had some Amazon vouchers and stuff, uh, and buzzing. So, and I bought some other stuff recently. One sec. When I knew I was going to buy it, I bought some other stuff like this. Uh, so I knew it'd come in time, just like memory cards and stuff. Like that. However, yeah, this one's open. Nothing came apart from this so far. Okay. And this is my tripod. So essentially what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to set up a mini vlogging setup. So I've got my normal setup, but a setup that if I'm going somewhere where I can't take my big camera or whatever, I've still got the opportunity to take a camera and record and create some content. So I'm going to set it up now, what I've got so far, and let's see what you guys think and let's see what the, the actual video quality looks like. So that is the camera and uh, it's not a completely true representation of it because of the fact that I do have the light box on in front of me and I am inside so the the noise and, and picture quality should be the best it'll be so I'm hoping that it's actually really good uh, but we'll see but so far the whole look of it how it feels and how it sort of is like weight wise and stuff like that I'm really, really, really happy about it. In fact, as you guys can see on the other camera, this is what it looks like. It's a small, tiny little setup. I can see what's going on with the screen. It feels really nice to hold my hand. It's a little bit weird that it's to the right or to my right and not in the middle. Um, but other than that, like, I'm pretty happy. It does do a weird thing when I'm recording, however. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the screen doesn't show exactly what's going on it just shows a bit of a snippet so i don't know if that is the full amount of recording or whether it captures captures more that i'm still trying to figure out but uh, as you guys just saw a bit of the footage hopefully it's good and i'll be able to use this to make so many more projects it just makes my um ability to work just that little bit more versatile and i can you know get places that i couldn't specifically get with my dslr so I don't know, but I'm pretty buzzing about it. I think it looks awesome, it looks so good. It's a great little compact vlogging camera. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm really intrigued. So I'm going to actually get onto my laptop now, put all this in together and see what it looks like. And then I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. So no pun intended, but I really wanted to do like a field test uh, just to see how it dealt with the wind and the natural light and all that sort of stuff. So that's why we're out here in the field doing a field test. So me and Rag are out just sitting in the field and I've been flicking through a couple of the settings and seeing what I can do with it and I'm just so impressed. Like I feel like I've genuinely actually made an alright decision which is quite rare for me. I just can't wait to see what sort of things that I can do with it because Obviously with its size, a lot of uh, projects that I try and do, I have issues where I can't really fit my camera where I want it to go, which then leads to me using the GoPro. And the GoPro, obviously the audio quality and stuff isn't great. It's only good for sort of doing these random little shots, whereas this could actually fill that little, that little need, couldn't it? Anyway, I'm going to go back inside. 
after I've enjoyed a bit more sun and then uh, sort of go from there. But I'm really not expecting anything from it guys uh, but I thought I'd come and try the low light performance out. I am out and it is pretty dark. In fact I might just trip over. Oh, by the looks of the screen you guys can't see a thing. I don't know if you'll be able to see something over there. Oh yeah, you can do a bit. Maybe I'll just have to have that in my background. So, yeah, I thought I'd just quickly test the low light function and see what it's like. I will probably invest in a little torch thing to go somewhere on it just in case I have a situation like this but only obviously a small one else it defeats the object of me getting this whole camera set up um, either way I'm going to end the vlog now because you guys can't see me I hope you've enjoyed this video thank you for watching I hope you're as excited as I am about this new camera and what it means for the channel and yeah thank you guys for watching and I will hopefully see you guys in another video guys I just remembered if you've watched my five life tips thing I always keep a little LED light torch thing in my pocket and this is just a tiny little LED and look at how well it's lighting up my face okay it's a bit a bit creepy but like I don't think I need such a big LED light in order to light my face properly for you guys to be able to see and this is literally you guys can't see you can kind of see that it's just one of them little tiny LED light things so I could perhaps get away with making a little light for it that doesn't take up much space but is good in ideal situations like this. Anyway, I'll let you go now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll hopefully see you soon. That's nice, huh? <laughs> rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. 